Hello, welcome. My name is Lisa Howard and I want to welcome you to this video. This channel is all about entrepreneurship and having a successful online business, whether you're just beginning or have been at it for a while. So I decided to switch um, to switch it up a little bit. I had started doing a 30 day video challenge and I was uploading videos every day for 30 days, but um, I decided to do something different. So right now I am creating a documentary on my success here at the beginning of my venture. So I'm not only documenting this for my, my subscribers, but I'm documenting this for myself. So once the channel grows into what I envision it to grow into. I want to be able to go back and see my progress so um, I can have it for me and then it could be there for someone else who aspires to follow their dream and just um, to do whatever it is that it's in their heart to do. But this channel is geared toward entrepreneurship and those that want to have a successful business using online resources. So at the start here, well, first off, I've been on YouTube since 2011, but I have not been consistent since 2011. I would sporadically upload a video here and there, but now I'm committed and dedicated to consistency in um, growing this channel um, just so that I can, I, I can inspire others and I can change my life and the lives of the people around me. So what I've started to do in my business is um, I sell a um, software for a company. I'm an affiliate of that company. So what I do is um, I reach out to local businesses that I believe the um, software can help. So in my documenting of my um, activities, um, that this is what I'm I'm doing. So I'm, I'm documenting my activities and I'm sharing them with you. So here on my first week of actually taking the action to grow this business, this is what I've done. So I um I got this magazine. So in the magazine there um, are advertisements for new um new residents because I recently moved to a new state so i got this magazine when i when i um, started my lease for my apartment so there are these different businesses that's trying to sell whatever their products are to sell so which leaves lets me know that they are um advertisers so they're interested in advertising their business well that fits with my business because i'm here to show them how to get their business out to more people so that was that's a perfect fit for what I'm doing. So on this week, I reached out to 18, 18 businesses through email um, because I do work a full time job. Once I'm able to, I will be doing physical face to face meetings, um, prospecting of these businesses. But as for now, I'm doing um, email. So I reached out to 18 businesses on email and um surprisingly within the next well the same day i got two responses and the following day i got another responses so three responses out of 18 um two of the um emails out of the 18 failed so the email was didn't work so um so 15 so um three responses out of 15 actually which i believe is is pretty good so one response and, and none of them said yes, but the thing is, once I do this on a consistent basis, if I can get those three out of 15 to reach out, once my numbers are higher, I can get a better traction. So it's good news that they reached out, reached back to me to tell me no, but they did reach back. So one, one um, business said that, um, I'm about to retire and I don't, I'm not looking for any new customers or well, why are you advertising? But anyway, I thanked her or whatever. And then another one was, um, she, she reached out and said that I'm a sales rep, so I don't have the, um, 
capacity to make those decisions. I do do advertising, but I don't make those kind of decisions as far as purchasing. And one, but she and she did say that she would um, keep my information for any potential clients that she has that would be able to use my services. And the last one was a straight up no, but I've um, he said that he's marked it as, marked the email as important, and he will circle back if he ever changes his mind. So I believe that that was a successful campaign. And um, my, my goal is to reach out to at least 100 businesses per week. That was 15. Um, that was on Sunday. As I'm making this video, it is Tuesday. So I didn't reach out to any on Monday. But I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that I'm going to do a consistent 15 businesses every day because it's just it's just finding them. That's the problem. Um, just finding a business that has their email address there for you to um to contact them so i plan on doing 15 every day and i mean if you um find this like if you if you think that this is something that you can do in your business whatever your product is um just make a commitment to reach out to a certain number every day and then you look back six months later and then you'll see that you you'll have um you'll have success because I've seen it through other businesses. Um, I've, I've I'm following a YouTube channel right now where um and you can look it up if you if you'd like. The Content Bug is the name of the channel, and she does kind of like the same thing that I do. She's a blogger, and so in May she had been on YouTube for a year. So she, and in that year, she had gained maybe two to 3,000 subscribers, but still she wasn't really making in her, in her mind, she was her channel wasn't where she wanted it to be. So that was in May. So, because, you know, she was getting, wasn't getting the views and YouTube wasn't showing her videos to um, enough people for her to get to where she was trying to go. So fast forward, and that in May, she had like 2,000 and she did a video that I looked at from May and I'll link it down below to show you where she was in May. So she did a video saying, you know, how it is when, you know, you think that you're doing all of this and nobody's watching and nobody's responding and you feel like you're doing it for nothing or whatever. So that was in May. Fast forward to October of 2019, um, YouTube started because she, she stayed consistent. So YouTube started showing her video to more people. And now as I make this video, it is November the 5th. She went from 2000 in May subscribers, 2000 subscribers in May to now she has over 9,000. And that was yesterday. She probably has, has 10,000 now. And she was showing us her growth and her, um, the money that she's making from YouTube ads. And, um, you know, she just showed us all of her, all of her, um, analytics from her channel, like how it has grown since actually she made that video in May where she was feeling down and she was not feeling like her videos were getting enough traction. So I say all of that to say if you're following me and watching my documentary, just know like I know, because there is not a doubt in my mind that this channel will grow to over at least 20,000 subscribers. But the thing is, you cannot have, you cannot expect instant gratification. So delayed gratification comes when you put in work on something whatever it is and you keep at it you 